welcome everybody back to the channel as normal my name is Matt this is the gaming corner and we are going to be going on to the next part of my pickups from respawn retro gaming in Fond du Lac now if you guys noticed in the last video there was no sound in any of the gameplay footage there is a reason for that the normal capture card I use I had to switch out that one at least gave me sound. The new one I'm using, for some, it plays sound through everything, but it does not pick it up in recordings unless I have this microphone on right here. The only way I can fix that is I'm going to have to backfeed my monitor back over to another sound device that I'm using, blah, 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 blah. But the reason why I had to switch that is I brought my Xbox, OG Xbox, back over to record on my screen here. And the video card, or not video card, the capture device I was using before wouldn't allow me to capture Dreamcast games. So I had to switch back over to the other one. But that is why in these videos you might not hear any sound from the games, just so that you guys are aware. But once again, like I said, let's get on with the video, let's get on with the games. I'm going to be covering the Sega Dreamcast this time. And, like normal, these were from... This store right up here, known as Respawn Retro Gaming. These all came out of the Fond du Lac store. And basically what ended up happening here was Tony had a game that came in off of a trade. He knew it was one in particular that I really love, or like, or wanted, or however you want to phrase it. Because he gave me the whole set on the PlayStation 1 and 2. And since number 2 from this game was on the Dreamcast... He made sure when I walked in the store, he's like, I gotta show you something, and he showed me it, and it was, um, yes, I want that, hold on to it, I'll be in next week to pick it up, or that week, or whatever it was. Yeah, I had to have it. And he had a few other ones, one is gonna be an upgrade for me to a complete inbox version of it. So, you know, it, it's all a win-win-win for me, no matter how you look at it. But let's show you what these games are. So the first one is the game that was meant to become complete in box version and this game does have some of the worst emulation you're ever going to hear for Genesis games granted you won't hear it in this video so I'm going to save you that torture but it is Sega Smash Pack Volume 1 this has 12 games on it 10 of which are Sega Genesis games as you can see it's got Vector Man, Sonic Shinobi, Golden Axe. The Virtua Cop 2 you see up here is an actual arcade translation of the game. And it happens to have one of the best sounds. All of the Sega Genesis games, which you might be able to see back here on the back a little bit. Pretty much all those have crud sound. The only two games with good sound are Virtua Cop 2 and Sega Swirl. But, in my opinion, if you get a chance to get hold of this, this one, you need to. You definitely need to get a hold of this one. Now, I didn't say it before, but the gameplay footage should be up over here anyways. And I'm probably holding this right in it. But there will be at least a little gameplay footage going on. I am a fan of this pack. Even though, like I said, the emulation sucks. Alright, the next game. When I saw this one in there, I got a few of these titles on my PC from um, GOG Galaxy. Our goodoldgaming.com I played I think one of them on the Xbox or something like that I don't remember where but it's actually a pretty good little series now you're gonna see this little sticker on here that Tony put on here but the game is Worms Armageddon and if you can see that properly not working possible console issues fully refundable if it didn't work Tony told me that he sold off his Dreamcast that he was using to test these with he did it on accident so he wasn't 100 percent sure because he's not sure if the dreamcast he was using was actually a good dreamcast so i told him that i definitely will buy the game if it works and all that so he told me you know take it home he knows i live just a few minutes from the store and test it out i took it home tested out on my two dreamcasts i have one that I hooked up that goes to this monitor that runs off the what would be known as the vga since i'm using an hdmi hookup then i have the other one that runs off that tv back there Game worked fine. I messaged Tony, let him know it worked fine. Went back up there, I think it was the next day. 
paid him the money for the game. Works like a beauty, as you can see from the gameplay footage. Great, great game. The Little Worms voices are amazing in this thing. I've always loved the way the worms talk in here. All right, that brings us to the next game. This next game, this is one I wasn't even sure if I really wanted it or not because I've not, I've never really played many of these of this style sports game. I know of it, just never really played it, and that happens to be NFL Blitz 2000. Now this one does not work on my computer screen, does not work through VGA, so you have to have it on a TV. That's part of the reason why I have two Dreamcast. I'm impressed with this. The only NFL Blitz style game I ever played was on the Xbox 360 that EA did. This blows these days away. This is a lot of fun. The commentary is really great. I wish you guys could hear it from the gameplay footage going on up here, but unfortunately, you won't be able to. But this one was well worth it. I think there's one more yet on the Dreamcast. I think there's NFL Blitz 2001. I'm going to have to find that one next, but this one's fun. All right, that's going to leave the last one in the list for the Dreamcast. And I'm not going to do full gameplay screen footage of this one or anything because it's a role-playing game and I just fired it up to test it out. But Grande 2, this was a must-have when he had this up there. I did ask him, you know, because he, he knew about the game in here. But he didn't know if the second CD was in here. So I asked him if the second CD was in here. Because otherwise I don't know if I would have bought it at that time. But it does have the music soundtrack CD. The manual and the game. This is where I played this game at the first time. And I was watching another store in the area that had one of these on their website. Because you can actually buy it off of their eBay website. I never pulled the trigger on it and then walked into Tony's store and saw it. I had to pull the trigger immediately. And yeah, the price, that price right there that you're seeing, in my opinion, this game is well worth it. I need to find Skies of Arcadia because I heard that one's really good. But that's a good price for this game. I find this game to be worth it even at a used price compared to new type idea. 100% worth it. If you get a chance to get hold of these games, either off the PlayStation 2 um, the remasters they did, which I do have also on Steam, go for it. Get one and two at least, because they both have been remastered. Guess what? That's it for my uh, Sega Dreamcast that I picked up from there. So there will be a third part for this one when I go over the Genesis pickups. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little short video. A little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. Hope you enjoyed it though. And I'll see you in the part three, which should be the final one for the Respawn Retro Gamings before we head over to the Master System. See you guys in the next video.